every piece live on camera. It's not a high-tech cut you have to make, so rather than do that, I've already cut them, but I'll tell you the differences and the things, and what each thing is and its measurements. So the first thing is, once the barrel has fallen apart, you have two heads, and if you look, they're not structurally sound. They're just tongue and groove together, or they've got little pins or nails. Somehow they are just held together. So the first thing you've got to do is completely disassemble this, and then put it back together with glue and clamps. So rather than do that, and look, oh look, that's the wine side, that's the oak side. I kind of like the oak side up. So rather than glue that thing on camera, I've got one I prepared earlier. <laughs> so this one is very solid. It's just wood glue and then clamped and let it dry. Oak side, wine side. So the first thing we ought to do is join the legs to the base, and we don't want to put screws through the top of the table. So the way we do that is with this wooden um, attachment on here. I make these. See how these are not cut straight. If you cut it straight, so that the other end is straight, so watch. If that were on there, the idea is that these legs screw on here. If that were on there and that was straight, the leg sticks out. You want it to stick out just enough to be in line with the top of the table, otherwise it looks weird. So, you do one long one straight across, 90 degrees to the staves so that it's strength, and then the two little ones, like that, so that when a leg is put on it, that little angle there means that that is a much more cosmetically appealing angle. So we'll do that. And then let's do some measurements. Stephanie, could you pass me the tape measure? So this barrel head, they vary a little bit. This one is 22 inches across. So I've made this piece 14 inches. And then this is just one cut in half with a gap in it that is also 14 inches. So we're gonna glue and screw that to there so that it's permanent and structural. Oh, another important thing. These legs, here's a full stave, here's a leg. Don't cut one end off it. Cut the middle out of it. Cut both ends off it. And then the, and then that's just, I'm not using that one, that was just here to show you that. This, is also not a 90 degree cut to the wood. It's cut so that it can lean back. So if it were there, standing on its own base, it's also just for full contact. That's cut at that angle too, so you can see them all on here. They are not cut square, they're cut to the angle of the base. not cabinetry, so we're just going to, happens to be about in the middle there, and then these two, okay let's screw it down, yeah and they're not long enough so I'm going to let them go, they're deck screws, they should be a bit longer to reach further in, but I'm going to countersink them in so that they hit the oak underneath. <laughs> Look who's come into the barn. So by screwing that on there, it means you never have to screw a screw through the top. Then we put on the legs. So then let's measure these two. So basically all I did was cut off the, the barrel attach point. I just cut it off level with the end so that it's just only stave. And they ended up being 29 and a half inches. But barrels vary in height and curvature. So if you want a tall table, use longer ones. If you want a short little side table, cut it off short. If you want one right down next to that, it's, it's personal. This one is actually just roughly counter height. It's like 29 and, and 1, so 30. Yeah. 
then put the screw in just enough to get the spike showing and that will guide it and then Stephanie squirt some glue all over that you always want a lot of glue if you don't put a lot of glue on it you can always, it'll squeeze out because it's not a perfect fit and then um, you can just it just peels off so put more than you think let it drool out if it has to hold that there So this little middle bit, as you can see on this one, can be anything. I mean, I made some fake little staves. One end was good and the other end I just copied it so it looked like a little short stave. It can be a square, it can be a cross, it can be, I just got this and just countersunk it or you can screw right on top of it. And then this can just go in here like this. And those are 12 inches. So you just put it in and it's tight, which is good. And everything's movable because the glue's wet and it's a single screw. Do you like the curve up or the curve down? <laughs> like that. This would be very hard to put glue in, so I'm not going to. That's horizontal. That's horizontal. I just center them all. At the top. Yeah, a little bit. Just. I mean, because it's the flat, because it's curved, curved and flat, these have to be flat. But you can move this up and down according to how, where the curvature is. So the screws, same as on the chairs, one and five eighths and two and a half inch. That's all you need. One chair needs 40 screws, shorts, one and five eighths, and 20 one and a halves. This the long screws go into any long end grain and the short screws go vertically. So this, because it's going into end grain, will be long just for extra strength. So the geometry of it is you don't want the legs sticking out and you don't want them sticks, you know, like narrow at the bottom, you really want them just making a circle slightly smaller than the circle of the top, just for cosmetic reasons, and any um, spacer down there. Some people will actually get one of these as an option, one of the hoops from the barrel, and they're obviously too big but they're riveted, you can cut it, and you can have as a border, you can have it down here as a strap that goes all the way around. Imagine if that's shorter and I made it the size and then reattached it, you'd have a ring around there looking very sort of whiny. So there's a lot of different things you can do. And people also make light frames with these by making a sphere. But that's the basics of it. So if you're half into any kind of woodworking and carpentry and making things, that's just an idea, and you can vary it hugely in any way that you want to make them any way you like. So, quick extra carpentry video, assisted by Stephanie. Um, Skywagon University, thanks for watching.